the fight to control the ruins of Donetsk International Airport has become the focal point of the bloody confrontation between Ukraine and Russia. When viewed from above, there is little evidence of life in the devastated airport, but on the ground, the fighting is more intense than anything witnessed in Europe since the defeat of Nazi Germany. Many have compared the battle for Donetsk airport to the battle of Stalingrad. Like Stalingrad, Donetsk airport has acquired a symbolic importance for both sides, which is above and beyond its strategic value. Everyday shellings are the routine procedure here in the village of Piski. The insurgent forces realized that they are not able to launch the direct assault and capture the Donetsk International Airport, so they cut off one of the roads that lead to it. Seems that militants have been trying to surround and trap here the Ukrainian cyborg soldiers. The battle for Donetsk Airport has rumbled on for months, but there has been a marked escalation since the end of the New Year holiday period. In mid-January, Kremlin-backed militants launched a major offensive using new weapons, which the airport's Ukrainian defenders believe were delivered to the conflict zone from Russia. Could this have been caused by tulip artillery? It's possible because I've never seen a crater this big before. They have just fired at us with this weapon for the first time. No doubt the Russian Federation sent something new. The Russian weapon, which poses the biggest threat to Ukrainian defenders of Donetsk airport, is the Buratina multiple rocket launcher, which is capable of creating a devastating carpet of fire across a wide area. Have you come under attack from Buratina systems? We came under fire yesterday from Buratina rocket systems or a similar cluster fire weapon. Ukrainian forces in the east of the country had been expecting a major insurgent offensive to coincide with the arrival of spring and were surprised by the launch of massive attacks in mid-January throughout the conflict zone. This is the offensive they were planning for spring, but we can see it has begun earlier than planned because they are attacking all along the front line. After days of insurgent attacks, on the 16th of January, Ukrainian forces received the order to launch a counteroffensive. It's good that we can finally fight back, so let's stand up and fight. Our government just needs to give us the order and we'll go. The main objective of the Ukrainian counteroffensive was to secure access to Donetsk International Airport. This meant attacking insurgent trenches which stood between the Ukrainian positions and the airport complex. Now the guys from right sector are trying to shut down the adversaries' positions, but the war is not a pretext to stay hungry. As the battle for Donetsk airport has raged, fighters on both sides have grown used to eating whenever and wherever they can. Let them envy me. In order to secure a new corridor to the airport, Ukrainian forces deployed dozens of tanks, leading to what military analysts have called the biggest tank battle since World War II. Ukrainian armored columns succeeded in punching through to the airport, but the battle for control of this symbolic objective is far from over. The Ukrainian Stalingrad could yet become a Waterloo for Russia's imperial ambitions, but many more men on both sides will pay with their lives before this tragic conflict becomes history. Andriy Tsaplyenko and Gennady Shulga reporting from East Ukraine for Ukraine Today.